In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize your characters that you bring on the screen. And the reason I wanted to take a, a, a whole video to, to show you this is just because I, I noticed over time in working with Coast Bases that the number of characters available in the library has really grown over over time. And so in addition to sort of people, there are also people with certain professions, uh, people within sort of historical context and other even characters out of fiction. So it's a pretty nice uh, library of different characters and I think hopefully it'll continue to grow over time. But you might have a need, for example, to actually represent, have an avatar that actually represents you or someone you know inside your co-space. And so you can take, like I, I can take this character right here, for example, and if I double click on him or right click on him, I get his detail. and. Uh, what I like to do is I like to actually move the palette away from the person and that's because when I get to the material section I can see the changes that I'm making as I as I go along and so like this just for example if this were me you know I might wear a black shirt and maybe some blue pants or jeans or something uh, my skin color is darker than than his and my hair is black and my eyes are brown so while it doesn't look just like me it it represents me in a better uh, more accurate uh, visual way than than the original character. All right, and I can also come in and I can maybe just rename him John here. So you can quickly change characteristics or attributes of any of these characters to possibly represent you or people you know or people that you want represented in the story um, to a much greater degree. And, uh, and I do rep uh, recommend that you check out all the different characters that are available here. All right, that's it for character customization.